there, Toy here. It's time for my way late March wrap up. So, you know, the world's going crazy right now. You would think with all this extra time on my hands, I'd be able to read more. But here's the thing. I don't have a whole lot of extra time on my hand because I'm still working. Um, granted, a lot more of that is from home, but it's still time that I'm working. I'm doing what's called telehealth. I'm doing case notes, all this kind of stuff. So, the major thing that has changed, and this I didn't realize was going to be like that huge, was my commute. So I have this feature, which everybody who has a Kindle has it, maybe other devices have it too, where I'll, you know, read a book at home. When I get in my car, I'll do text to speech. So I pick up where I left off and I keep listening to the story. Then when I get back home, I pick up where I left off and I read. And I did not realize how much that helped me to fly through so many books. So because I'm not commuting as much, I'm not reading as much. So I decided since I had this discovery that I'm going to have to start um, finding more times throughout the day to read. I mean, I'm sticking to my usual reading schedule where I would like read a little bit in the morning. You know, I read during my lunch, you know, so, you know, like I have certain times of the day where I read and I'm still doing those, but it's all those extra commute times that I no longer have. So sorry about that, but that explains why well, I'm a little bit behind on my reading, but I mean, hey, who's going to like smack me on the hand and say, you're not keeping up with your Goodreads challenge. <laughs> so anyway, so right now, um, it's April and you know, we're in the midst of the COVID crisis. Anyway, I've read 16 books so far this year, which I think is pretty darn good. Even if some of those are like graphic novels or whatever, I, hey, I counts for me. You may have your own things going on but that counts for me so with that said let me look at my little stats here I got them so I'm currently four books behind to reach my goal of end of the year of reading 75 books but it's early enough in the year where I can totally make that up especially now that I know what my current challenge is so for the month of March let's take a look at it I did pretty good <clears throat> I read, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I read six books in the month of March, considering all that's been going on. So that's not bad. Um, let's see, of those, I don't know if you are following along, but I do have a little like um, plan that I've been reaching for where I read um, either my IWSG book club book or a nonfiction book. Because um, we read one every like other month, so there's always like a, a, a month in there where I can devote it to something else. So anyway, there's that. Then I, I want to read at least one graphic novel a month. I want to read one local author a month. I want to read a book that's either written by a black or marginalized author or contains a main character who is black or marginalized. Um, and that includes women, um, people of all different um, um, races and ethnicities. You know, the, the stories will explain whether or not these people are marginalized. It's pretty clear. Anyway, um, one picture book, because I still work with kids, I love picture books. Whenever I find a great one, you know, I pass it along. Um, one work of just fiction. There's no stipulation. It could be any kind of fiction, but just something that doesn't um, necessarily fit in those other categories. But it is a work of fiction because I love fiction. And lastly, I have been uh, want to read one anthology a month. So those, that's, you know, what I've been trying to do each month. And so in the month of March, I did that except for um, I didn't read the local author. Well, no, I did read a local author book. <gasps> Ooh, my notes are not exactly right. Anyway, so I did read a local author book, but that I think was also had a black and marginalized character. So that one kind of doubled up. So anyway, I'll go through it further. Anyway. Um, and I did not read um, the book that I have picked out as my fiction book, even though I've been reading a lot of fiction. But anyway, so here's what I actually read. And remember, if you go to my um, Carney the Bookworm channel, that's where I'll actually have my reviews for all of these books posted. So I finally finished Black Gun Silver Star. That's the um, book that's about Bass Reads. I told you I've been doing some research for that for a while. And um, I ended up giving that one an overall rating of a four. 
it was very informative but there were some other issues about it that just didn't make it like an enjoyable read I know it's nonfiction so it doesn't necessarily have to be enjoyable but I prefer to enjoy what I'm reading so anyway I gave that one a four um, my IWSG book club book was chill factor which I this book was way better than I thought it was gonna be I ended up giving it a five so please check out that review um, the graphic novel that I read was Wires and Nerves, and that's uh, the second in that series, but it's part of an overall Lunar Chronicle series, if you know what that is. Ended up giving that a five. Um, the Oh, so the book that I read that was, I don't know if this person is actually local. I believe they are, but if they're not, I met them at a local event, so that's why I'm counting it. But even if not, it does count as my book about a black or marginalized character, and this is The Lawyer's Luck. It was a short uh, prequel to another um, like series that I'm hoping to maybe get into. Um, I really enjoyed the prequel. I ended up giving it a 4.5. And um, the next one was my picture book, which is called Love Is. That one I also gave a 4.5. It's very cute. Um, and then the I didn't do the fiction book. And the anthology that I read was Cogs, Crowns, and Carriages, which was a companion to the anthology that I read the month before, which I think was called Gears, Gauges, and something else they're both steampunk anthologies that one I ended up giving a solid four I didn't enjoy it as much as the first one but still enjoyed it like I could probably read it again so that was what I read in the month of March it um, wasn't as much as I would like but still I think pretty good um, I, I already have things kind of lined up for what I want to read in April Remember, I'm not going through that again this year where I say something ahead of time because whenever I do, I never follow through. Needless to say, I do have all my books in each category picked out. I'm already in the process of reading some of them, so I'm off to a good start. Um, so, but that's my wrap up for the month of March. I hope you guys are, you know, staying safe, you know, keeping yourselves you know busy I hope you're connecting online things like that um, if you haven't picked up a book in a while you should try it here's the thing about reading books I think a lot of people have preconceived notions about what they have to read and how they have to read it you can read anything you want and you can take your sweet precious time just because I'm trying to read 75 books in a year doesn't mean you have to if you find one good book to read a year you're a step above the rest and I don't think people realize how enriching uh, enriching reading a good book can be whatever is good to you that is so don't let people tell you that you have to read certain things or you have to read a certain way and just read this is the perfect time to pick up a good book so anyway that's all I have for now bye bye